Okay. Got ourselves a fresh run. Got ourselves a fresh, fancy new mechware. A glorious example of safety first, a cautious approach to slowly getting your goals met. All right. I wonder where we can go with a start like this. We'll find out. Maybe to the uh, the game screen. No. Nope. Never mind. I take it back. See you next. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Gorby. Hey. All right. So I think we clearly decided that this is not the location for us. And we're going to need some time to fix our mechs. We're looking at somewhere in the vicinity of like 10 days each. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Scott. Hey, little D. Sultan. Hello, Abax. Abaxor. Abzor, maybe. All right. Uh, we got some goodies. We need to travel. Comstar star map 1.6. Biome difficulty. Okay. We are currently here at a four-star challenge to start with. I mean, good thing we had a contract variance on, I guess. Do you think two-star is weak enough? Or do we have to go to the one and a half? One and a half is only one day further. I don't really want to do missions for the Lyran Commonwealth, although we did start in the Lyran Commonwealth. That's a one and a half, controlled by, controlled by the Greater Valkyrie. Versus giant evil eyeballs. Could go there. Looks pretty good, right? One and a half. 11 days may not be enough travel time. We could go further. We have a lot of... Um, a lot of shit we gotta get fixed. We could look at how long it's gonna take to get mechs up and running. But I feel like one and a half's right where we wanna be. I think. I think. Okay. Let's take a look at what's being sold here in the this location. They have one small laser in stock. <laughs> what? Let me get this straight. Total available armaments in this system. Literally every weapon that the entire system can scrape together consists of one small laser and an SRM4. Good morning, Adorby. Is this the trolley shit too? Like, weren't all like, do we just have to spend like right now? Do we just have to spend like three hundred and fifty thousand bucks on fucking ammo that we can't use because we don't have a gun for it, just in case we find this, this ammo thing later? I think we might have to. All right, um, that concerns me because I'm pretty certain we don't have enough weapons to fit out our, our stuff. So A, we got cord. We need a refit of 170 here, and I'm not sure that we manage that. No. 
So we cannot replace this right now. So we gotta build, we gotta build a lance with this shit. Ah, good. This would be a nice little, nice little problem to start the stream with. Good morning, Agamar. So, um, it's actually not the cost that concerns me about this. It's the time. How are we gonna work with three mechs? Also, gotta get started on this fucking engineering bay. There's a tech point on drop size. It's only 2.5 million. Tech point here. Gleaming endowment. Thank you very much, Desaltman. Giant robot time. That's a very nice way to start my stream off. Appreciate it. Thirty dollar donation. The giant robots, indeed. Start with five, correct? Oh, that is true. We do. I forgot about that. Not bad. We still have four healthy mechs, including. This is. Have you guys seen the? It's a, it must be a Reddit meme at some point. It's like a dog running towards the camera kind of thing. That's what this picture reminds me of. It's not so much one got wrecked. It's that an ally sprayed him with eight pieces of acid ammunition, followed by. By the way, is that a miss? Should we turn ally misses off? I know we can't turn. We have to. If we turn ally misses off, we turn our own misses off, which is fine, I guess. But was that a AOE splash that did that to us, or was that ally hitting us? Because the ally was shooting the target next to us. Good morning, Phil. I don't. I don't know. Is the answer. Well, what happened was a carrier rolled up, shot at the enemy. We were standing between the carrier and the enemy, and our one guy got acid splattered, and the carrier got acid splattered, I believe. And I don't know if that's an AO that sounds like an AOE effect, but it could also be misses, because I believe LRMs fire independently of one another, so I think they can individually miss. All right, so we get a lot of repair time. We gotta get... Um, the thing that has to happen right now is we have to get engineering up and running. So let's take a look at the most amount of tech points for the least amount of time. This is 200. Uh, this is one for 15 days. That's my only repair available. This is one for 10 days. Pretty cheap too. Okay, it's probably, well, repair and refit, just one for 15. Why would we never, why wouldn't we do this? It says lower average cost too. Okay, so we always go with this one because it's dirt cheap. Purchase, okay. Uh, we need some mech warriors, uh, specifically because we started, I think, with a pretty low uh, mech tech, six, with our starting mech warriors, which means we have a pretty pathetic percentage of mech warriors who are contributing to our stuff. Uh, ladies is she, Dogerby, I believe. I assume. I guess I, I guess someone with a call sign lady doesn't have to be female, but I assume. Did ladies say something about the outcome of the mission? Mm-hmm. Um, all right, we need to buy some mech warriors. What does the what does this mean? Unavailable. Oh, too bad. These people are good. MRB of fifty or higher. What is my current MRB? Where do I find my MRB? Our MRB is thirty. Okay. Uh, this guy is noble military officer. Brave, immune to panic. Bookish, I like. Noble, I'm not so excited about. 2223. Doesn't exactly start sweet, do they? Dependable military spacer. Oh, dude. All the good ones we can't get yet. Tech, merchant, cautious, spacer. Feels bad. Tech. Tech.
All right, let's look at our barracks. All right, we kept this guy. Can live with him, I think, unless Canopian is something. No. This person has jinxed, which I don't love, but it's not the worst. This person is an officer, brave. It's fine. This person is criminal. I've yet to see any money come out of those yet. This is chat. I mean, we're running with this, right? There's no way around that. The question is, who am I dismissing? This is a merchant. Cautious military interleague spacer. Our mech warriors suck, man. All right, I think then I want to hire one of the bookish guys. I really wish I could hire here. All I need is 50 or higher too. This person's fucking sick. Technician, uh, merchant. Oh, I don't like dishonest, but I do like the rest of them. With two good skills already. Bummer. Pendable spacer. But not bookish. Where's my bookish guy? I think it was bookish noble. All right. I think that was the only person we cared about. I think everybody else had. Uh... Oh, we can't fit any more mech warriors after that either. Oh, we're so not okay with the amount of training here. All right. We need to get our existing mechs in operational status here so what does this thing do this has the the weapon systems that make no sense together min 90 optimal 180 lost four tons of armor off this thing right, do we have any extra weapons out of that two mg pluses A large laser. Picked up two PPCs. Clan SRM4. And that's it. Okay. Well. What are we working with between our mechs? Two LRM 10s here. Two medium lasers. This was the mech that ran insanely hot. It's got a lot of launcher slots. Although its launcher slots are not on the arms, unfortunately. Free rifle and a medium laser minus thing is so bad. All right, so we have a fair number of SRMs. Is this an Omni? No, it just has a lot of weird slots in its torso. This thing's armor was insanely bad.
has no arm mounted weapons at all. I believe we have four machine guns somewhere. I think we have enough ammo for that. Assuming it survived, it actually may not have survived because it did blow up, right? So we probably actually don't have any machine gun ammo. Since what actually killed us here was some asshole putting the fucking center torso chock full of machine gun ammo on a mech that's like one ton. Ooh, we have heat LRMs. Yeah, our ammo is um pretty sparse. This means we can't run machine gun ammo unless there's some in the store. Even though we have four machine guns right now. Could give it a 45 core and rebuild it. SRM ammo, RAC2, LBX5 cluster, UAC2 safe, UAC10 double, UAC20, and UAC20 double. Machine gun ammo. Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to rebuild. Because before we leave, we need to have our rebuilds ticking. Because we're going to have 11 days of travel. But um, I'm really not seeing very much. So this, this mech here basically has no weapons on it since... We cored ourselves, blowing up. Oh, the core comes back when I hit repair? Well, that's nice. I wasn't expecting the core to come back. I would have thought we would have had to replace it. Um, but anyways. I can't even fire machine guns. The Big Mac is too far out though, Fernando, right? So, although I would love to refit the, the Big Mac, the Big Mac, before we even get it, to get it back to neutral, before we've even put anything on it, requires 29 days of timer. So we can't just start here, unfortunately. Dude, it's got Clan Ferrofibers, Clan Endosteel, Clan Heatsink Conversion, an Omnitech Gyro, a Clan XL Engine, Clan Flamer, Probably no ammo, though. I hate that the Clan Ultra AC-20 blew up. Had an engine plus four on it. Dude, his engine core is huge. It's got a 350 fucking core on it. What a beastie mech. Flamer doesn't use ammo. Yes, it does. It uses internal Flamer ammo. But I don't know how many shots. Uh, can I take weapons off a mech before it's repaired? Yes, I can. I can strip all of these weapons if I wanted right now. I was just looking at the, the pulse, the large pulse actually. Because taking things off mechs is really cheap in terms of time. So if we were to pull all of these off, which we can easily do, they probably won't add anything in terms of time. Although it will add to put back on. I don't know if we want to strip those or not. We can also take the enhanced imaging. This is a very, very powerful module to start with. It's a shit ton of accuracy. two gunnery and one direct accuracy to start with. So I really like the idea of getting a flamer started early. I'm not sure we can take advantage of a single flamer, really, but maybe. I also really like the idea of taking advantage of the machine guns early because it would be a way to guarantee kills on mechs, but we don't have any machine gun ammo, so we can't do that. Um, the most amount of weapons and ammo we have of the same type, we have a couple um, large, large lasers right now which are going to be hard as shit to fit on tiny mechs. 
Do I need another piece of equipment to use the UI? No. The enhanced imager is the other piece of equipment. There's a, a secondary module that's like down here, I can't remember what it's called, that requires the enhanced imager to use, but not the other way around. And we have these large PPCs. So probably, I mean, this is an Omni, this can fit whatever. We'd probably end up putting PPCs on this guy later because it's the only thing that can handle the heat. We might be able to get single large lasers on some of these other mechs, which is a little sad. But, you know, I'm not sure what else we can do with them right now. Um, I think I think we want to pull these off. We definitely want this repairing. The question is, do I want to pull these off or not? I guess we can do it modularly, right? We can go undo everything. Just pull the large pulse and the flamer. That's zero days. Get the stuff back. Can build for build around that. Was there other stuff that was repaired? Probably not, right? The enhanced imager if we want it. Probably need it, honestly. He's got a generic clan cockpit under there. Sneaky bastard. All right. Can we pull that off, too? I was just hoping there'd be a third cockpit on. He's got, like, three hats on. We just take the first hat. And he's got another hat. All right. Let's start with that. Now we gotta figure out what the hell we're doing with these things. So we actually can get the locust back, which is good, because I'm pretty sure the wasp is entirely useless. Um, all right, wasp has two laser hard points, two support hard points, one auto cannon hard point. I need to know what this auto cannon weighs. Is there a world in which we can get this on a different mech, or would want to? The AC five weighs eight tons. New run, yeah, new run from. Uh, we started the end of last stream. If you, if you want to watch a fucking epic mission, you should check out the uh, end of uh, end of last stream. What's the optimal? Oh, did I pull the flamer off? I think we may not have pulled the flamer off. Oh, we did. Okay. What is the optimal on this thing? Ninety. You have to literally be touching them to flame them. Whereas here, I can flame all of you across the internet. Technology is so advanced in our future. I mean, this thing does have a large number of missile mounts on the center torso and a decent weight. I think we have other SRM-6s too. We could potentially end up with all the SRM-6s on this guy. I would like to standardize our weapon systems so we can standardize the ranges in which we want to engage from. This thing has four missile mounts. We do have LRM heat ammo. So we might be able to start doing some heat damage to mechs. Is it possible to use a little guy with the LRMs? Do any of these have missile mounts? Zero of zero missile mounts. Two of two on this guy who's already, he's running the SRMs. He's very fast, but he's little. He's teeny. This guy's got one. What if we made our javelin? Can it carry two LRM 10s though? It's pretty unlikely. It's an LRM 10 way. Uh, five tons each. Oh, we're going for a full busted run, Scott. This is us applying what we've learned. This is the goal anyways. So it is going up quite a bit in weight. But this thing was fucking useless. Well, it wasn't useless. It just wasn't very efficient. Um, do we need the... How much heat is it sinking versus generating? Do we have heat upgrades? We've got Clan Endo Steel for some weight. Got an HS4, but that ain't gonna help us on this. We've got a Clan XL engine. So any weight we take put onto this comes out of either armor or out of heat sinks. 
Uh, are these required? Are these the three freebies? Yeah. So these actually are not. Oh wait. So this is this is basically max efficiency for this mech. We could give it one LRM. No, this door does not have items. The store has one SRM4 and a and a small laser, and like a little note that says, "I'm sorry, uh, we're closed." Congratulations, actual X. Actually, Alex, rather, I guess it would be. <laughs> Hello, Bleed Tycon. That's good to hear, man. I always like to hear my viewers doing well. So this has got... Well, this is the one we use. We actually have some fancy ammo on here, too. We could get one. One LRM on here. Is one LRM good enough? Probably not. Maybe we keep it as an SRM boat, but I was pretty unexcited about making this thing get in SRM range. I'll go back, Neablis. Thank you for the 20 months. Maybe we can make it a single PPC. This is not an ER PPC. Non arm mounted. So what does this thing vent for heat? Minus 21, apparently. I wonder if that includes the heat sinks? No. Okay. So it's venting 30 heat around. Just SRMs generate 28. It's actually fairly heat neutral with these SRMs. This fitting actually doesn't look that bad. Um, for six weight, seven, eight with the ammo. I mean, we could run a large laser here instead of the SRMs. Gives us an optimal of 360, which is a bit more reasonable for such a tiny mech. It's going to go down in damage. Quite a bit. We possibly run two of these? No. No, we could not. Hello, culinary. So that's. So the javelin. Okay, we gotta start taking some notes here. Ready for notes, Chad? I'm ready for notes. Notes. All right. So, the javelin either keeps my SRM, either keeps the two SRM sixes, or uh, gets a large laser, a large clan pulse laser. Okay. All right. The wasp. Fucking his AMS ammo, and it's wasted on my wasp. Are you kidding me? What is this thing even doing? I would take this apart every single time and sell it. We could also maybe move the rifle over to. Doesn't fucking do any damage. This seventy percent of twenty. So ten percent of twenty is two. So we're losing six damage out of this. So it's doing 14 damage. Also doesn't take any heat or anything to use this, except it blows up. What's the optimal on it? 200. Yeah, chat, but what I could see is moving um, the Wolverine into like a double auto cannon kind of fit. And sitting at about that range. This is a little bit nicer with the ACM app optimal. Uh, we have no side mounts that matter, although we could get AMS on this. The alternative is trying to make all of this, but where are our mounts? So, okay, we're gonna have to we 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 need we need to optimize now, essentially. 
Wolverine has two AC arm mounts. Uh, two support mounts, two support arm mounts. And three torso missile mounts. One torso laser. It's not super exciting, is it? It has a fancy head. Does it? No. Alright. The Whitworth, which is our next biggest mech, has four torso missile mounts, two... Okay, this is the Wit. Two laser arm mounts. And two support arm mounts. Four torso um, missile mounts. And a head laser mount. This... good so let's say we strip these LRMs off which I think is reasonable these LRMs don't need to be here frees up a lot of weight I don't hate the medium lasers already on the arms this is a good spot for medium lasers but we could make them bigger and baldier we could bring these up to a large pulse or PPCs even we have shitty piloting, so the recoil is going to be pretty rough. But even every other turn, PPCs could be okay. Uh, or we could just run with the large lasers here. I think we actually will have the weight. I mean, these are exactly 6 tons each, and this is a 6 ton and a 7 ton weapon. No, it's a 5 ton and a 6 ton weapon. The heat issue is probably going to be insane, because this thing ran super hot before. Inventing 18 heat. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh no, 18 and... 18 and 4, or 12, so another, um, another, I guess it bends 30 heat. We could fit both these on, or even try, these are 9 threes for 27, doing... Uh, 60 total damage, right? So this thing alone basically does more damage at less heat. Well, more damage at equal heat. Alright, slightly less damage at equal heat. Good call, Fernando. It's always 30 when uh, you have its stuff fitted out. All right, fitting the puzzle pieces together. Two, lar two large PPC or two PPCs, two large lasers, two LRMs, four SRMs. Yeah. You never put high-end at weapons in light mech arms. Well, we have other considerations right now, like the fact that if we don't put our fucking weapons in our arms, we're not going to hit anything. Alright. Alright, the Javelin has no arm mounts. Javelin has two center torso, Jesus, everything in the center torso, two ACs, four laser, two support, and then two missile, center torso. Well, not center torso, but torso. An 
all of these things are fucking loaded to the gills with goddamn jump jets on little tiny baby light mechs. Also, who stripped all the armor off this thing? It's like it's been in a firefight. Is it quicker, chat, to um, send this to storage and pull it out of storage? Does that give me armor back? What is the armor settings if I do that? Definitely want streak missiles. 270 optimal on that. Okay. We have three SRM6 with 180 optimal. We've got three medium laser. Do you guys know what happens if I store then unstore? You don't, do you? Which are 270? No, no way. 180. Okay. Take everything off, you'll lose more money. Throwing a core in is not actually that expensive. What does it cost for, what does it do to armor is what I'm asking. All right, let's find that out. Let's, let's do a test on that. Let's test, 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 test. All right. So we'll go to the mech bay. We'll take uh, this mech, which is basically devoid of armor, right? It doesn't have any major engine modifications no this one this one's armor is actually mostly intact let's not use this one as the test maybe the javelin javelin's armor is 13s 11s and 2s that seems like a pretty decent test subject and what is the wolverines armor at 49s and 37s all right so we're going to run with the javelin as the test subject here so let's say we want to store it and then we want to bring it back. Okay. And then we have to run it forward two days. Okay. What did it come back with for uh, gear? Armor set at a pretty low base value. Definitely not worth it in terms of pure time. Okay. Think will it let us load? Or do I, I'm not even going to ask. We'll just quit the desktop and load. All right. So that is not going to save us any time. But I did want to check just in case. So from uh, arm mounting optimization, the Wolverine wants auto cannons on it. The Whitworth wants lasers on it. And nobody gets the, uh, the SRM loadouts to be particularly efficient. We got to look at the other mech, the one which got taken out since we can rebuild it, which is kind of weird. And it wasn't even that long of a rebuild to get it back online. We gotta look at the mounts on the, whatever that last mech was.
Yeah. Uh, we have very limited options, Victor, for building these since we're only past mission one and there's almost no equipment available at this star location. So um, we got pretty slight options for fitting. Chat, do we have a laser AMS or a regular AMS on that little mech? The Locust is a 20 tonner. Ew. Uh, what does it have though? It has arm auto cannons. Four tons there. No armor on it though. Jesus, how can it be at four tons shy of a fucking mech with nothing on it? What if we refuse and we put the... Oh, we don't have a little baby. There is a little baby engine in the system, but it's like a... It's like a 0.65. Can we even put on this fucking mech? Mount the clan flamer. We don't know how many shots this thing has. And it can't miss uh, mount the other rounds. So we need to spread those out anyways. Does this thing weigh? Half a ton. It's gonna do nothing. Oh, it's considered an energy weapon. It's not even considered a support weapon. So the fucking unit would have to mount this in its torso. How do I, is there a max armor? Yeah. Jesus. So maybe this thing could mount the periphery rifle? Ew. So this thing is essentially useless. Maybe that's why we shot it in the chest. AC2, I don't think we have an AC2. Can't mi- okay. This way less? Why is this thing running endo steel? It's got fucking plenty of slots. Oh wait. Oops. <laughs> because it has plenty of slots. That's why it's running endo steel filthy. You fucking scrub. Uh This thing could run. Lasers. Medium lasers? Is it heavy enough? Nope. Ain't heavy enough to do a goddamn thing. Alright, so this is it stripped down. It does have arm mounts. An AC and a laser arm mount. It does vent 30 heat. We've got three tons. I mean, it could fit three medium lasers on, right? Does it have a third medium uh, laser mount? Also, how come when I hit max, max tons, it didn't actually max my, my armor tons? There's definitely tonnage wasted here. I guess it's max tons remaining. Also, fuck you not putting 45 in the head. Stupid game. All right, let's bring this down to 30. I'm 
medium laser range is suicide range too. Could we run the C3 slave and a um, flame around here? And then what? What else does it do? We have so little gear to go with this. I don't know that it can fit any weapons though, being like literally the only weapons we can fit on this are two lasers that aren't even in good locations. It's not a meat shield, it's got 50 armor. It's not, it's not, we're not adding meat to it. We're adding the ability for it to not instantly explode the first time someone looks at it. This AMS cannot be set to protect allies, I don't think. Yeah. So it's just self. I don't actually care. Uh, it's got a lot of jump jets. We could drop two jump jets. That gives us one ton back. The C3 is one ton. I mean, we can get four tons. Is the large laser four tons? Five. Is there any way we could fit that on? Give it just one large laser in its side torso. Pull off. Two jump jets. New. Literally no. I already pulled off the AMS and ammo. The heat sinks aren't heat sinks. They're they're free. They're part of the engine. God damn, that weck mech is bad. Maybe that could run. Um, I guess I need to start writing, writing down weights too for this shit. What's the weight of the uh, the AC? S eight. <laughs> that other mech could run the periphery rifle, but who cares? And it didn't have a missile slot, right? That's the wasp. I did have one missile slot. But it probably can't run it. So we did pick up that clan rocket. Seventy optimal, two hundred optimal, not great together. We um. Yes, put it chock full of ammo. Fucking units of disaster. No, 
And there's no way. This unit is going to become a flamer with a C3 aura. It's the only thing it can do realistically. It's the only thing I can think of that makes this thing work. Because everything else about it is fucking trash. I don't think I'm giving it the periphery rifle either. I think I'm moving that to a mech that can actually do something. I don't think he's getting a weapon system. Besides the, uh, the flamer. And we wish to retire this thing nearly as soon as we can. Uh, does it medium laser minus? No. EMS? No. Uh, maybe it gets one medium laser if we find one. I think we have one available somewhere. It's not clan, right? Good. Give it more jump jets. That was Dransky. Can't give it large laser. Can't fit it. Can fit another... Can put this medium laser shit on it. The minus accuracy. Don't have machine gun ammo. There is one small laser available to buy if we wish to get that. One. One basic small laser. We could run a small laser and a medium laser with no flamer on this mech. I don't... I feel like this thing has a very specific purpose. I feel like the specific purpose is to flamer stuff. So tell me, chat, how I actually utilize heat to take out enemy pilots again. I shut them down and they panic, or I shut them down and I shoot them with shitty damage. How does it work? The heat sinks, again, Pen Pen, are part of the built-in engine core heat sinks. They're not actually there. They weigh nothing. They just take space. Chat, how does uh, heat, how does heat, how do we use heat to capture mechs? The only way I can see getting full mechs is from panic, pilot, pilot panic, right? This is certainly not doing large amounts of flamer damage either. Cause 10 heat, man. They'll eject when they're overheating. Just kind of looking at the SRM four here as well. I don't. I don't really want to waste it on this mech as well. It's two tons, but we're like almost two tons. If we pulled the C3 slave, we are two tons. So we could we could put in two tons of weapon here. Like a missile launcher right there. Oh, but the mech, the, the launcher is more than two tons. I don't know why I'm saying two tons. The launcher itself is two tons and the ammo is one ton. All right, so we probably need to throw a laser in here. We vent enough, we could run this. This is just a really shitty shitty medium laser. We might have another laser coming out in a minute, but I'm not sure it matters. So this is the, the dream mech. <laughs> Five days to build this. I can't bring it out with this amount of armor though. This amount of armor is suicide. It's two shot on it's two shots from anything on any position to blow up. It just isn't reasonable. Okay. Um Yeah. 
So I was thinking for this one, we throw the periphery rifle on its arm as well. Armor the shit out of that arm. Probably drop the SRMs. We're going to probably move them. I wanted an LRM missile. That's the other thing we could do with this guy. I didn't even think about that till right this instant. Can it fit a single <coughs> LRM 10? No, it can't. Six tons for another M10 plus ammo. Very disappointing. thing might be able to though i just don't like its mounts its mounts are all torso though so we don't really care this is probably a good one to have lrms on actually can we fit it these way three four we can fit one lrm 10 here do have some endo steel doesn't give us that much weight though one and a half tons We have LRM ammo. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's called Thunder. No, we have Incendiary, which I'm a little bit excited about. Although it's only 10 heat damage per round, I guess, with a 10. I guess with two 10s, it's, a tw it's 20. We have to get the 10s on the same boat, though, because otherwise we can't launch them all. And the only one that seems to be able to fit two LRM 10 launchers is this guy. If that's the case, we need the medium lasers off him, though. Already four days just to repair those. It's crazy. It's going to be so long before we can take a mission again. Got to get those tech points up. They're so bad right now. All right, so assume we do this then. Probably need to get the probe off the other guy. What else could we do on this, weapon-wise? Can we fit large lasers on it? It's got it's got the arm slots for it. really don't want to use an XL uh, engine on this. I mean, this is okay. 24 heat, sinking 30, so that's fine. Medium lasers are fairly useless if we're LRMing. It is our second heaviest, well, third heaviest mech now. Can use it to cause heat from range, which is interesting to me. I want to try that aggressively this campaign. What other tonnage can we run? We can run the probe. We want for sight range and then swap one of the LRM ammos out. I don't know why this is in the torso. It's like we're trying to die here. It's 12 days? How is it 12 days? All I did was put armor on it. 12 days? F 
Fucking hell, man. All right, well, that's what we're doing. Okay, so uh, the wasp loses the AMS and the active probe for sure. That's a confirm. All right, the Whitworth is losing those medium lasers. That's a confirm. Ah, uh, hold on. And this LRM ammo pack, right? Okay. All right, that frees up some medium lasers. One of the wasp refits had it running two medium lasers, right? And one of the wasp refits had it running um. Rest of it. All right. So what does the Wolverine want to do? With no laser arm mounts, I'm very unexcited by these. I kind of want to get the periphery cannon over to this guy so he can sit at like 200 optimal. Um, probably though, we should look at working with the SRMs. We do want to use the SRMs and it doesn't look like we're going to have somebody else capable of doing that particularly. I think the... Only one launcher there, two launchers here. It's already running SRMs. This one was pretty close to being just like fine as it was, right? We just needed to give it more armor and then give it, um, right? Like this is just fine. It's just like basically max armor it. Um, this is not fine. It's missing armor. Really unexcited about putting a clan endo steel on this. It's got tons of space. Can we just put a regular fucking endo steel on it? That's more reasonable with the armor. It's still bad, though. Drop the heat sinks. Keep upping the armor. It's better. Barely. So that's about how many tons of armor it needs. A bit more, really, because the legs are so weak. But if the missiles are in its torso, it's maybe okay. You can keep the SRM 6s. Doing good damage. Has a reliable optimal of 180. I think that's okay. All right, so two SRM sixes are going to be mounted on that in all likelihood. Uh, if we get the periphery weapon on this thing, and then put the streak SRMs on here as well. Just use this from now on. Is this the only weapon I had last time? Why do I feel like last time I had better weapons? Strip lasers off of it? Not yet, I haven't. Yeah, I did the beam. It's 11 days to do this. Why are none of these times reasonable at all? We're looking at repairing from our first mission is like 30 days, maybe 40 days of mech time. Not even counting repairing this. All right, so we are doing the LRM refit. That's We're gonna sign off on that. That's the best refit we can do that I can see. We gotta get that flame run something too. That's gonna happen. So this is repair all. Uh, we already removed this stuff. Let's add the, um, the new ammo. Um, we're gonna max this armor out. All in Grand Summoner plant? No, it's 30 days to get the Grand Summoner from zero to uh, even operational. Uh, this thing also needs a active probe. LRMing, it shouldn't need as much back armor. All 
All right. That looks fine. 12 days, sign off. Feels bad. All right. Are we messing with the wasp or the locust? They're both insanely bad, right? The wasp has a f arm mounted laser cannon though, which is flamer. It's getting there. That's about what we want, right? Get one more jump jet in if we drop a little bit more, a little bit of armor. This does, does not have any fucking armor to drop. Maybe we stick flamer in the torso as much as I don't like to do it. Just because these arms are 30 to 30 to blow up. Okay. All right, that's two of our four. We got to figure out where our weapon, our actual damage goes. Javelin is going to be one of the other ones we're bringing. Javelin was fine, except it doesn't have any armor. This is not adequate amounts of armor. It's running too much weapon for the amount of armor it has. We, could, we have endo steel that we've unlocked though to go with this, right? So that helps a little bit. Could swap the SRM ammo around too. This thing has laser mounts. We could get lasers on here instead of SRMs. These weigh three tons each. The damage is definitely better on the lasers, but oh well. Or definitely better on the SRMs, I mean, excuse me, misspoke. Well, let's say we did this. Uh, nine, 18, 27. Could we get large lasers here? It's interesting. That's, it's total heat sinking, but it does 51 damage. Still can't max armor out. That might be okay. Giving up so much burst dropping these SRM sixes. Yeah, but I can't armor it with the SRMs. There's no weight. Right, so if we back out of here and take a look at what we just did there, right? So we get a little bit back with the endo steel. We might be able to drop some of these jump jets. And then max armor it. Still not very armored. But it's getting there. Maybe that's good enough, actually. That's okay. All right, so what does this leave for the Wolverine? We've got a periphery rifle if we want it. If 
we do that, I'm pretty certain. I mean, we have endo steel for this. What can we do with the actual uh, weight here? Ow. I'd really like to get the streak SRM in here. Be a little bit more heavily armored. It's not doing it. It's 20 days. How can it possibly be fucking 20 days for this? <laughs> hey, Galvia. Couldn't endorse that statement more. Absolutely agree. Who are these people? Alright, our optimal is kind of around 2 to 300. Seems okay. It's gonna take fucking forever to do this. A couple tons short, but I'm sure we can figure that out later. Uh, was there equipment not being used? The gunnery. Ouch. Definitely worked. Redeeming a meme like a pro. Ouch. So, this is like 50 days in the mech bay? It's fine. We didn't want to run missions ever again. Alright. Yeah, we can run three man missions not bringing the Wolverine. What do you think, chat? Alright, Argo is prepared. Uh, we have 2.7 2 million, it's 5 days, okay. I'm gonna try this though, I really wanna try it where we max difficulty all the missions and then uh, we just spend a shit ton of time repairing stuff. Before we go, we're gonna grab the AC-20s. Uh, the UAC, the Ultra Auto Cannon is what? Is the Ultra Auto Cannon the extended range one or the double ammo one? Double, it's the two time? Well, we definitely want the fucking double ammo then. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we need ammo wise. It's time to move on. Okay. Let's check out this, uh, this map. All right, we're going to there, I think. No. Wait, what? This one? 11 days, one and a half stars. Okay. Buy small laser. Not really interested in the small laser. I hate it's optimal. I don't really like lasers. Okay. All right, chat, we did it. We accomplished one tech point. I'm pretty sure that means all of our work is done. All right, we desperately have to get more tech points as soon as possible. Training module will be nice, but I really don't think we can afford it. Uh, one tech point, one tech point, one tech point. I thought there was a two around here, but it looks like there's not. Okay. Um, so this is one for 10 days. It's very expensive. This is 
one for 10 days, much less expensive. And this is one for 10 days, uh, one for 15 days. So we'll take this one, the one for 10 at 180K. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, do we get there? How are we able to hire when we're, I guess we're in system. Okay, well, if I did, thought we had to travel there. I mean, not travel, yeah, I did have to travel there. Can't hire mech warriors in transit. Okay, let's get there. Wait, what was second bay? Was that the other one I just passed on was second bay? Oh shit. We haven't lost anything right now, right? I can't change it though, can I cancel it? Fuck! Uh, I wonder where that save is. You can stop for manage tasks, good man. Excellent. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, manage tasks. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want the second bay. Thanks for pointing that out, chat. I would have been very salty about that later. Okay. All right. Let's move into system. We've arrived. Take a look at the store. We need mech warriors. They have a laser drill and LRM5 times three. Actually do want some of these. SRM6 is stealth system. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a stealth system. It can be added to a mimetic armor system. Yeah, so we already have to have the armor for that. Tactic supports B is decent. AMS ammo. Swarm LRMs, MRM halves. SRM heat, we want these. The other M5s kind of allow for a little bit of something if we want to mess around that, but I definitely want the heat FSRM ammo. I would love to buy that and we might, but I don't know if we can buy it this instant. So let's buy the, I probably should buy AMS ammo too, just case we ever get another AMS. Seems like a valuable one to have around. And then the SRM heat. Thermal bolts are heat thunderbolt ammo. Okay. Um, how long are we before we can potentially launch another mission? Um, 10, 20. We're 31 days out. All right, uh, we should definitely check the hiring hall for mercenaries with tech points. This guy has no stats at all of any sort. This guy has plus one tech, but he's unstable. I think it's good enough. This guy has a merchant discount. This guy has plus one tech as well. Okay, so we're hiring both of these. We're gonna have to fire two people to do that because we're at full right now. That's fine, we can do that. We have to get tech points going or we're going to not be able to do a goddamn thing. All right, who's getting fired? Um, merchant, kind of nice. Bookish, just hired them. Possibly this person. Let's 
Savvy is looking a little bad. We need to name our people too. We have people who bought names. Um, this person looks pretty bad. Ah, uh, no, I have merchant as a modifier. This is our leader. We can't hire fire them. This person's totally mediocre. The only thing going for them is we brought them on a mission, so they have a little bit more experience. This guy has the world's worst fucking combination of skills. But also, for some reason, has 6,000 experience. Also an officer. Can I do something with this combination of skills, right? Like, I can't, right? This is just worse than tactician in every way. Jinx is pretty shit, too. Can retrain it for 500k. Oh, that's interesting. Where do I do that? Yeah, we can't care, but we will. I was just saying that. Literally just said that. Okay, we got to get rid of two, though. Um, feels like totally untrained people getting rid of two would be okay. Um, nobility, or merchant there. Bookish there. This seems bad. I don't like cautious. I don't know. Two defense is nice. Kind of. We have the jinxed guy. Rather get a new pilot at this point. You don't think it matters that it's 6,400 experience wasted on our first mission, which feels a little bit bad. Kind of want to get rid of. I don't know why it's 64 either. Like that must be some bonus for like surviving ejection or something. Like it makes no fucking sense. Or oh, he might have skills we didn't use. Yeah, it might be the um, other stuff. He's also brave. Brave is nice. Spacer is nice. Officer is good. Nobility is whatever. Military is experience. Maybe we respect them later, sure, but I don't really care about... I care about it long term, but I don't care about it short term. Like, this is a bad combination long term. But if we can respect it once later, that's probably fine. Um, merchant, loner. Jinx is the one I didn't like. I think this is a good buy. It's one. Okay, and then who's two? This is pretty useless, right? Canopian, criminal, periphery, like doesn't do anything. There's no bonuses here and it's just a mediocre pilot. Ah, uh, yes, Jinx is a worst cautious. All right, those are the two we're getting rid of. Let's hire the new two. I'll name people after we've done that. Now oh, we need the double tinkers. Unstable tinker is a little bit unfortunate, but whatever. We need the mech points so badly. And then Willow. No. This one. Okay. There were no other... A merchant, but I'm not gonna buy a merchant here. These ones are not hireable until later. Okay. Alright, up to eight, nine mech tech. Uh, 1.4 million only remaining. Time went down a little. Eight, eight, four, five, nine. Okay. Hey, fallacies. Alright. Uh, oh, right, naming. I did say I was going to do that. We got chats. Chat avatar named after fallacies right now. Let's fix that. Okay. And then we've got... Top down. Uh, customize. Sir Orange. Okay. 
got Xanabu. Okay. Got Care Bear. Okay. Commander. Uh, yes. Bleed for a while, anyways. I think it's like three right now. Um. Wait, did that go? Yeah, it did. Okay. We've got thirsty work. Okay. Uh, he may not have an. I think it's just an I. I don't think there's an E in thirsty work. I need to rename that. Maybe there is. Is he in channel right now? No. Um. I don't remember. I have it written down like this on the paper. Okay. Yes, Commander. All right. And then this guy is Eco Gaming. Okay. Ready for orders. Then we have this guy. One heart, one mind. Okay, we got this guy. This is Sir Flipper. Okay. And receiving you. We have two sirs on our mission. Just notice that. And then, actually perfect right now, this person is the Sultan. Okay, crew is renamed. Um, stuff is set up. We need to pass time. Uh, the other, only other thing was, did I want to buy something from the store? I think the answer is yes, if we can afford it. There's one other piece of something I wanted. Um, there's actually a lot of stuff I want in the store, but most of it we can't afford. Uh, the other rounds were not something I wanted right now. Dude, we'd really like to pick that up. I don't think we can afford it. We already bought the ammo we wanted. I guess maybe we don't do anything else here. I think maybe this is just wait for now. Let's go. All right. Time needs to pass. Uh, low on medical supplies. Direct Darius to find special discounts. I don't think we need medical supplies right now. Buy the minimum to restock. Okay. It doesn't seem like a lot of cost, but can't even run missions yet. All right. The Wolverine's done in one day. Loving the Rouge Tech. Keep up the pew filthy. Thank you, Dire Venom. Okay, Mech Bay 2 is complete. We now it does matter the order in which we're doing these. It always mattered, but this is a little bit more impactful. I guess three days in the second one is fine. Not like that. Okay. Whoa! Shit. Let's move two days of engineering time wasted. Rip. All right. Um, we want uh, we want the one that makes it work at 100% efficiency, which is this one, right? No. Thought one of them told us. There it goes that one. Okay. It's lost four uh, two days of that. Okay. Price is 500k. Oh. Okay. We need to um, min-max the rest of this just a little bit, I think, for our mechs. A, we need to repair that, but B, I think the Wolverine is able to run um, an AMS, right? Maybe 
not. Really need a case on this thing too. Uh, where's my AMS ammo here? Okay. We need to get 0 0.32 tons off this. We go down one more jump jet, maybe. This is two days. Okay. Uh, we wanted to get that heat SRMs in too. That's on one of our other mechs. I don't remember which one. The Whitworth? No. It's the Javelin. I think it's one day. Okay. It's perfect. All right. Looks good. All right, mechs are ready to go. Just paid people. Okay, it took a lot of money to get to even here. Like a lot. Engineering needs to be set. I thought we did that. All right, refish hardness is one tech point for 10 days. This is one for 15. Okay, one for 10 is where we want to be. We'd like a training module soon, but we also need um, habitat size. What does this take? Structural repair, what's structural repair? There, no benefits except timing. I think we need mech bay first. But how many pilots are we at? Eight or six? Eight. Okay. All right. All right, we got to run some missions now. We're going to go broke. Why is there only one mission in this system? Dude, what the fuck? Why? Why does this map mode suck so much? Reload contracts page. That's better. Okay. So apparently just some sort of display bug. It's fine. All right, uh, yeah, we want to take a look at our barracks leveling. Should start making some decisions what we want to do with people. Uh, not a lot of experience. 7K on fallacies. This is our main pilot. Um, Really unexcited by that ability right now. Although we are going to try to use this a little bit. But I think something like... That might be okay. Question is where first. I want accuracy. Kind of want to run piloting. Where are the, va the values on this? This is just accuracy, which is not just. It's very good. Unsteady threshold is very good. Um, initiative, reduce the hesitation, indirect fire penalties, min range. These are good, but not good for what I want this guy to be doing. This guy's protected by plot armor. That seems okay. Okay.
4K experience on one heart, one mind. So phallus, okay, so we need to kind of track these. We need to make some money this month too. Okay, so chat is gonna be ace and something else, not sure yet. Um, one heart, one mind. Where do we wanna go with this? Need accuracy, are we running this person on this mission? Probably. Probably just recoil and accuracy. I think we have a gun that wants recoil, so this is actually a nice pickup here. Uh, one heart. Some accuracy. Is he the bookish guy? I gotta watch for whoever that is. It's not. That's fine though. Is that our ace pilot? I like ace pilot. It is basically plus one accuracy, but not on the really close range mechs, it's not. These both points. Yeah, they are. Taking that. Okay. Just gotta get basic accuracy on everybody. Okay. Uh what do we want to run for a mission? Our mech our mech weight is pretty damn light. Maybe a one and a half. 418 for one looks pretty good. It's for the Valkyrie, which I'm kind of interested in being part of. It's against the Oberon Confederation. Maybe we run this. A bit worried about our bank costs, but uh, if we can get two of these, we have 30 days for the report. We got a little bit of time. All right. Um, okay. Bring in this thing, sadly. Okay, the Wolverine has the shot, so we need Sifo for six pilot or uh, six gunnery for that. Although there is the headgear in the Wolverine, so we actually don't need that necessarily. Um, do we have anyone with decent tactics? Four on a Xanabu. What were the break-even points? I need to look at that. There's a piloting thing. I'm not sure if I bookmarked it or not. Games. Battle tech. Uh, Rogue tech pilot stats explained. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so under tactics, minimum range penalty is at, there's an indirect fire penalty at four and a minimum range penalty at five on tactician. So we probably haven't hit that yet. I don't think anyone has tactician five. No. But Xenobook maybe could get there. So let's throw her in the, wait, where, oh, but two accuracy, fucking two accuracy so bad. We just want to bring max accuracy pilots, or we want to split them up a little bit. Presumably, split them up just a little bit. This is an LRM in the end. Yeah. So the javelin on fallacies. Who's running that wasp? Have to run some two accuracy people, unfortunately, just to split up our accurate pilots. Maybe not though. I mean, it's gonna, I mean if our mechs are the, the slowest part of the repair cycle and not the pilots, we may not be able to do another mission anytime soon. It's tough to say. I think we'll run maybe two, maybe three. One heart, one mind over here, I think. Oh, two defense. This is the cautious pilot. I don't know what we're building with that yet, but it's not gonna be an LRM boat. That's for fucking sure. We do wanna bring Sir Orange while he's got the mood benefit, probably. All right, let's run this. All right. This may be too easy, don't know. Um, but certainly it's taken us a very, very long set of days to get our mechs into some sort of fighting shape. Paid like three months of upkeep or something. 
haven't even started repairs on our uh, our big guy. Oh, Kijin. Probably what we need to do is, uh, as soon as possible, sell off these light mechs. The two little ones that don't do anything. Yeah, yes, sub well, but we want to get a rough baseline, right? That's the issue. Command interface initiated. Okay. Oh god damn it! You know what I just did? Chat. I took another uh, attack and defend. Ah no, this is just a defend, not an attack and defend. That's a little bit more reasonable. Enemies are here. Uh, we need to reserve down for the first round. We need them to get rid of their evasion pips before we can do anything. He's an LRM 30? Is that, did you say what it just said? LRM 30. Okay. Also a heavy flamer, which I want. Four medium chem lasers. Those don't do, sh they don't produce a lot of heat. So he's probably not gonna overheat super aggressively. Look at the rest of the stuff as it shows up. This guy became a very good target by that move. Um, small laser, medium laser, LRM5. This guy looks bad and looks like something we're happy to blow up. Scorpion has LRM10, LRM5. Nothing exciting. Okay. So we're going to try... We have three heat weapons equipped. So we're gonna try very early getting heat on, on online to see if we can use that to um, take advantage of uh, getting salvage that matters. It was very hard last campaign to pick the salvage we were going to get because it's very difficult to take off specific um, parts of an opponent. It's interesting because it's uh, an, an air, area of effect hit. That's the SRM or the um, the swarm missiles. It pretty much ignores the evasion because it just hits on a target location. Didn't really heat up very much, did he? It's kind of a bummer. Okay, these are SRMs. LKs are fine. I think we can get not quite behind, unfortunately, it looks like. Side is all right. Not a particularly exciting shot. Not a particularly exciting mech, really. Epicness of the mission just kicked up a notch, apparently. Alright, LRMs currently loaded with standards. I'd like to get a back shot. Only get side shots. What is this mech that just showed up? Another locust. Ready for orders. It's pretty bad. I think we're just gonna move this round. It's doing literally unfathomable, unfathomable things here. Why are they not moving behind this thing and flanking it? They both had the... Oh, these are the engineer carriers. Never mind. Okay. I guess it is fathomable. All right. 
These are our auto cannons. Ah, dude, where is my flank on this guy? That was a non-obstructed uh, something, though. Side shot, I guess. Okay. How many shots do I have for this? Gunnery 8. Oh, because it's passive. Definitely want to turn this on. How much heat is this? I don't know this is shit for heat, right? Where were the rest of my weapons? Where were my SRMs? What did I just do there, chat? But I still have two auto cannons. I have the periphery auto cannon and the other auto cannon. Surely one of those should have fired. So one hit, one miss. Okay, must have, I must not have seen the second round go off. I only heard um, noise for one. Oh come on, dude. Minimal damage on that hit. So if I turn off ally damage, would that hit me or not? It just puts three of my mechs in the fucking bay. Does literally nothing to the opponent. I think that was an LRM or a mortar from Kare that he just fired at me. Which one was it? It was this thing. Nope. Nope. Mortars. Get fucked. Okay. Waiting for orders. So we have a flamer, which we're not really interested in doing quite yet, so we'll reserve. Alright, plus base defenses. Sure, Battletech turn transitions, continue. Sure. Mech feel, uh, my, my lance feels so insanely fragile right now. With all these shit, shit mechs in it. I want to get this thing stuff. Maybe we start heat missling it in a minute. All right. So it's at 15. We're not moving till 12. But I do need to kill it before it goes. Sir Orange has LRMs. 
and Fallacies has SRM, so we'd really like to get behind it. Um, it is not damaged really from the back, but it has much more armor on the front than the back. But I still want to flank it. All right. Flank there. Is it off the more? No, no. It's got to be there. If we're content with no cover. That's the best accuracy shot for us. Okay. Presumably our allies can kill from there. Maybe, maybe not. Almost killed him outright. Got one of the side torsos. Took out most of his weapons. I'm okay with that. All right, we could start heat spamming that guy. I could get LOS on him. He apparently is incapable of being LOS. There are a lot more mechs. Maybe we need to do some more damage first. Looks like there's about eight enemies already. Some really shit ones. My LOS is so garbage right now. Why so bad, friend? Why so bad? To go there to get anywhere. Alright. So there's where we'll go. Alright, shot on this thing is fine. We have to kill it sooner or later. Teammates doing teammate things. I'm going to try to light this mech on fire this turn if I can get there with the, the light mount mech. I want to start burning him out. I have things on him I want to capture. A wasp and a locust are pretty light, but our guys are not exactly accurate right now, so I don't think they represent much of a threat, but they certainly represent things I can't do damage to. Actually, the flamer might be a good weapon versus vehicles right now. What's the range on it, though? Like, negligible right it's like it's like melee like you have to be basically here all right Got it. it's only a 46 percent to hit Acknowledged. thought i always lit forest on fire Missed. do i have to attack the ground to get that to go off I wish I understood what just happened there. Pretty sure the clan flamer says always lights force and fire. I haven't tried narc launchers, but thanks, Ron. I don't really want to take advantage of AI bugs to do anything, honestly, but. In. This way. I don't like it when it randomly resets my camera angle. It looks like uh, fire ammunition. I wonder if it is. Standing by. 
Okay, so no one killed this thing. But I don't think it's worth dicking with. I'm going to move there and shoot the vehicle again. It's not great optimal for us, but whatever. Need to get rid of the stability damage. It's decent. It's a kill. The urban mech over there. The enemy force for eight here is actually kind of reasonable. Like there's a fair amount of enemies on the field right now. Fair amount of allies with this base and these uh, defenders. That's okay. It's a punch. Yeah. Just hit my own base teammate, my guy, and a little tiny bit of enemy. With what? Allies with AoE weapons are like the most dangerous thing in this game. What do you have? Thumper artillery. And what do you have? Was it the vehicle or the, the guy who did that? Must have been the vehicle. That guy's running heat weapons though. That's actually interesting because that guy's running heat weapons and he's right by the target we want to heat up. Maybe we can actually do this. I wish I had Ace Pilot on Nobu right now. It's gonna be hard to get that Flamer in range without putting the Wasp in very risky positions over and over again. Well, every other turn anyways. Anyone use the Flamer? Can I AOE a forest with a, f a Flamer to set it on fire? This is not not hitting a lot. I wonder why only five. Ready for orders. Okay. Auto cannon is up and running right now if we want it. It's pretty early days right now though. Can get to the side of that mech. I can't get to that vehicle apparently. Well, maybe with the sprint. But we took a little bit of stability damage again, so I kinda don't want to. I don't mind shooting this thing in the side. I don't know what it is size-wise. Yes, Commander. Is that or we're shooting the wasp in the front? Orders. The wasp is paper. What does my positioning look like if we were to take this? I'm gonna get flanked, but it's maybe okay. Let's take that shot. Aye, aye. I think I hit yeah. something good. Leg hit there is not very exciting at all, unfortunately. <laughs> 